Hello, this is Wednesday in Coffee with Clark. <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to talk about spiritual gifts today in verse 11 and 12 regarding the gifts that the Lord has given to the church. Now, when we look at spiritual gifts, all of us have at least one, but not all of us have the same gifts many times, obviously. So the gift that you have is given to you supernaturally by the Lord for you to serve Him in His church. The particular gifts we're looking at today are the gifts that Christ has given to his church to minister to his church and to help it develop and grow and expand. And so it says in verse 11 of Ephesians chapter 4, And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. So apostles, uh, there was only 12, the original apostles. An apostle, another definition for apostle is sent one, someone who goes out and takes the gospel to unreached people groups. But there are no longer apostles in the sense of the apostolic sense of what Jesus said uh, was he is the chief cornerstone and the apostles are built upon Christ as the foundation of the church. <coughs> That's the 11 plus Paul. And then, uh, of course, Paul took the place of Judas when Judas betrayed Christ. And uh, so the apostles were the beginning foundation of the church plants in, in the earth. And then you have this prophet ministry, prophets. And prophets in the sense of the Old Testament prophets no longer exist. We're studying Zechariah on Sunday. He was specifically chosen by God to be a prophet. He's not a false prophet. He's an authentic prophet that was given visions by the Lord to give to Israel and also to the church to speak to us about the things that God has on the horizon. So we don't see the apostles and prophets in the sense of what they were like when the church was first founded. And then it says he's given some to be evangelists. <coughs> Excuse me. Evangelists are people that take the gospel and preach it and people come to faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us to do the work of an evangelist. So all of us should be serving in an evangelistic method but some are specifically gifted when they preach that many people come to Jesus Christ, like Billy Graham was an example of a very uh, powerful evangelist that God used to bring countless millions to faith in Jesus Christ. And then it says he's given some to be pastors and teachers, and that's people like me and other people who pastor the church were to be given to watch over and encourage and shepherd and love and care for the church, but also to teach the people the word of God. So this uh, ministry of pastor and teacher is one and the same. And the purpose of that ministry, and you don't have to be a pastor to be a teacher. We have women teaching women, men teaching men or men teaching couples, uh, young people teaching one another. If you have the gift of teaching, God's going to use you. And I'm thankful that in our church, many have the gift of teaching. But uh, it's the purpose in verse 12 that I want to get to. The reason there's the importance uh, designated pastors and teachers is for the equipping of the saints. That means to provide information and direction for you so that you can use your gifts to be serving the Lord and to glorify Him. So we're equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. So everything I do is on behalf of what God wants you to do. I'm just providing the teaching and the infrastructure, the resources to give you what you need to be able to successfully and effectively serve the Lord by the power of his Holy Spirit. So uh, you're in my prayers daily, and God is using you all in a mighty way, so be encouraged. God bless. Talk to you tomorrow.